afternoon and welcome to Live at 5 on WBON Channel 9, where every local story starts here. I'm Grendelin Morton. Well, we have an update in a case against a Kentucky County judge executive, and a third individual has been arrested in an eastern Kentucky murder. Those stories up next right here live at 5. But first, in our lead story of the day this week, Richmond police arrested 27-year-old Stephen McFerrin of Richmond and charged him with first-degree sexual abuse of a victim under 12 years of age. According to the citation, the alleged charges were levied against McFerrin on Monday, April 24th, and he was arrested at a residence on Douglas Court Wednesday evening and processed in the Madison County Detention Center around 9.30 p.m. Further details surrounding the case are being sought by WBON TV9 through an open records request filed today. McFerrin has been employed as a parking enforcement officer for Richmond for the last three years. Richmond police say Farron is classified as a civilian employee and he has been placed on unpaid leave while the legal process is ongoing. We'll have more details on that story when we get that open records request and as more details become available. Well, one Mount Vernon motorist had a scary moment on the road when their truck caught fire while traveling on East Main Street at around 10 the fire department was dispatched to the area after the Mount Vernon Fire Department chief observed the truck on the roadway. According to fire officials, the operator of the vehicle was attempting to stop the truck. However, the fire had disabled all controls except for the steering. Eventually, the driver managed to stop the truck by navigating to an incline off the roadway. Multiple fire and police units arrived after the motorist was able to exit the vehicle. Following an unsuccessful attempt to extinguish the truck with fire extinguishers, a hose was deployed to gain control of the flames without incident. The truck was declared a total loss. However, the driver was able to walk away from the incident unscathed. That was definitely a lucky day for that driver. Well, in an update to a story we covered yesterday, the trial for Breathitt County Judge Executive Jeff Noble has ended. Noble was found not guilty of abuse of public trust and theft by unlawful taking. He was indicted in 2019 on those charges after reportedly buying lumber with county money. Commonwealth's attorney Miranda King says Noble is set for another trial to start in July on charges of abuse of public trust, theft by unlawful taking, and official misconduct for allegedly using county money to put gas in his personal vehicle. We'll have more details on these ongoing trials as the information develops. Well, a third individual has been arrested in connection with the murder of Roscoe Garland, a man who went missing in October of 2022. Roscoe L. Bryant, 48, of Pine Knot, was detained by Kentucky State Police on Thursday night. Bryant is accused of murder tampering with physical evidence and causing bodily harm to a corpse. He is being held at the Pulaski County Detention Center. Joe D. Bryant, 48, and Broderick A. Taylor, 24, both of Pine Knot, were also detained, according to KSP. Both are accused of murder, corpse abuse, and tampering with physical evidence. The skeletal remains of Roscoe L. Garland, 54, of Pine Knot, were discovered on April the 25th. That's according to the Kentucky State Police. On October the 14th, 2022, Garland was reported missing from McCreary County, and his remains were discovered on a Forest Service road in Whitley County. The Whitley County coroner pronounced Garland dead. His body was then sent to the state medical examiner's office in Frankfurt for an autopsy and DNA was used to pos pos positively identify him. Bryant is now in a Whitley County Jail while Taylor is in a Knox County Jail. This investigation is ongoing. Well, Berea Municipal Utilities is planning to allow water and sewer line insurance to local customers through a third-party system. Representatives of BMU have noticed many homes are experiencing sewer and water damages as infrastructure continues aging, and any sewer lines from the home to the curb of water lines from the water meter to the home are fixed, must be paid out of pocket by the homeowner. The insurance company is not affiliated with BMU, however, upon approval, 
it would cost customers between $5.75 and $7.75 per month with the intention to save homeowners money in future repairs. Discussions are still in progress and more information will be released as negotiations continue. BMU is also considering switching to advanced metering infrastructure, which would allow BMU customers to go online and review electric and water information and allow BMU to receive information directly transmitted to their office electronically. Using AMI, BMU would also have the ability to start or end service from their utility office instead of sending out technicians. Well, on Thursday, April the 27th, at approximately 11.30 a.m., the Kentucky State Police London Post responded to a two-vehicle collision that occurred at the intersection of Cumberland Falls Highway and Angel Road in Whitley County. The initial investigation indicates that a 2019 Chevy Colorado operated by Ralph Little, 86 years old of Williamsburg, was turning left off of Angel Road when his vehicle entered the path of a 1998 Freightliner empty log truck that was traveling south. That truck was driven by Randall L. Boland, 59, of Williamsburg. As a result of that collision, Mr. Little suffered life-threatening injuries. He was pronounced deceased by the Whitley County Coroner's Office. Well, the Lexington Police Department is requesting the public's help in locating a suspect wanted in connection with voyeurism. Police say an incident occurred in the afternoon of March the 31st, 2023 at the Hamburg location of Target in Lexington. Witnesses say the male suspect was between 5 foot 9 inch, 5 foot 9 and 6 foot tall. He was between 20 and 30 years old and had dark brown facial hair. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Lexington Police. You can do that by calling 859-258-3600 or you can submit an anonymous tip by calling the Bluegrass Crime Stoppers at 859-253-2020. Tips can also be submitted online www.bluegrasscrimestoppers.com. Get a good look at that guy there and if you see him, make sure you give Crime Stoppers a call. A Georgetown man identified as 26-year-old Tyler Lawson was arrested Wednesday on multiple counts of child pornography. According to an investigation conducted by the FBI Louisville branch and the Georgetown Police Department, it is charged with two counts of production of child pornography, one count of possession of child pornography, and one count of visual representation of the sexual abuse of children. According to reports, Lawson knowingly possessed the explicit material back in March. Reports also say that Lawson persuaded two minors to engage in sexual acts in order to produce visual depictions of the act. For each production charge, he faces a minimum of 15 in years, 15 years in prison, and a maximum of 30 years. For each possession charge, he faces 20 years in prison. A with that, we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We've got lots more news and we've got the weather. Do you want to know what it's going to be like this weekend? I'm hoping for some warm temperatures. We've got Todd Nelson up next to let us know what the forecast looks like. Hi there, I'm Alan Feldhaus Jr., head basketball coach at Madison Central High School. Here at MCHS, we have built a winning team. And I'd like to tell you about another local winning team, family owned and operated Bluegrass Restoration and Construction. They specialize in roofing, general construction, and home maintenance services. Just like on the court, you need a team that will work together to get the job done. And that's exactly what BRC does. Give them a call at 859-353-1133, Row Tribe. Now is the perfect time to apply for seasonal positions with Richmond Parks and Rec. Positions include Adventure Falls Manager and Workers, Paradise Cove Managers and Workers for the Front Desk and Concessions, Summer Camp Director and Workers, Umpires and Scorekeepers for the Adult Softball Season and Seasonal Maintenance. Positions are also available for lifeguarding. To apply for those positions, email hiring at bluegrasspools.com. For all other positions, visit richmond.ky.us or find Parks and Rec on social media at Richmond KY Parks. 
Davis and Powell Funeral Home in Berea. From our attention to detail, a diverse staff, and the best aftercare in the business, there's no better local choice to take care of your family in a difficult time than Davis and Powell. Call in to discuss pre-planning and preparations so there'll be no additional burden on your family. Davis and Powell Funeral Home in Berea. For additional information, check them out at davisandpowellfuneralhome.com. Davis and Powell Funeral Home, always going the extra mile. Man Chrysler in Richmond is Truck Town USA. New trucks, used trucks, little trucks, big trucks, short trucks, long trucks. Hey, that's not a truck. Work trucks and fancy trucks. Who says you can't get a truck? Come on down to Van Chrysler Dodge Jeep in Richmond for your best deal today. Truck Town, USA. At Fast Flow Plumbing, you aren't sending your money to Texas and Florida to the big corporate plumbing companies. We're local, and that allows us to invest in the latest technologies like Permaliner for no dig sewer replacements, which we warranty for 20 years. Fast Flow is the future of plumbing. Don't destroy your landscaping and finished basement because a plumber tells you he has to replace your sewer. Keep your home beautiful. Call a local pro at Fast Flow. How do you protect your family during a disaster? Have a plan of action for tornadoes, floods, earthquakes, and for an incident at the Bluegrass Army Depot. Know what you will do and how you will contact each other. Having a plan helps to keep you calm and not panic. Visit EstelCountyEMA.com to get started today. Plan today for a safer tomorrow. Pretty much a mixed bag out there today. Just periods of rain and then bright sunshine. I'd like to keep the sunshine and kick the rain to the side for the weekend. We've got meteorologist Todd Nelson in the Weather Center to let us know what the weekend is looking like. Thanks, Gwendolyn, and welcome back to the Bluegrass Restoration and Construction Weather Center. It definitely was an interesting day today. We had some sunshine, a passing shower, even a clap of thunder. Uh, that's because an area of low pressure was swirling around the Ohio Valley. Again, uh, with cooler temperatures aloft, you got that uh, strong late April sunshine to heat up the atmosphere. And then, of course, these uh, cumulus clouds develop into some isolated showers and even a few thunderstorms close to home. And again, you can see those passing showers. Showers here in a webcam time lapse from earlier today uh, from north of town on I-75. Uh, looking at again maybe a few isolated thunderstorms yet early evening, but then we should see things quiet down as temperatures fall into the lower 50s by midnight. So showers and thunderstorms ending. Uh, more rain possible late Saturday and into early Sunday. We have some uh, breezy and cooler conditions setting up for Monday, but again late Saturday and Saturday night is when most of the rain will be pushing through. Early tomorrow should be fine and then and then later Sunday should be all right, but uh, noticing that it will be cooler 61 on Sunday and look at the winds really picking up early next week. We could see gusts in excess of 35 miles per hour, but the greatest risk for any ice that strong thunderstorms is uh, east of us and then just a general thunderstorm threat late Saturday as that next batch of uh, rain moves on in. So again, the sky should clear out for this evening and tonight looking at uh, some isolated cloud cover in the morning, generally dry, and then the second half of the day Saturday will feature those showers and even a few thunderstorms, especially overnight. So rainfall amounts again will be on the increase at that point. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll be into the mid 40s for the greater Richmond area, southwest of the winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Not terribly strong yet, but more rain late Saturday, Saturday night, kind of wrapping up there early Sunday. 63 degrees and then cool and windy on Monday, Grendelin, as a Temperatures kind of hover below average early next week. Thanks, Todd. And for weather all the time, you can find it on Channel 9 online. Check out our Facebook page and WBONTV.com. Well, according to the Fayette County Coroner, a woman was killed in a single car collision that occurred just before 7 a.m. this morning on Briar Hill Road. According to the coroner, Gary Ginn, the vehicle was traveling west on Briar Hill when it veered off the road, struck a tree, crossed the roadway, again struck a third tree. The coroner believes that that woman's death was ultimately caused by speeding, slick conditions, and not using a seat belt. 
Well, Attorney General Daniel Cameron today announced more than $8 million in grant funding to 24 opioid abatement programs in the Commonwealth. The grants will be awarded by the Kentucky Opioid Abatement Advisory Commission within the Attorney General's office. The grants will assist Kentucky organizations in combating the opioid epidemic through prevention, treatment, or recovery services. Attorney General Cameron has secured nearly $9 million, $900 million in settlement funds from pharmacies, distributions, wholesalers, and manufacturers of opioids, all for their role in fueling the opioid epidemic. These monies made possible today's grant awards. Half of the nearly $900 million in settlement funds will be disturbed by the, or I'm sorry, distributed by the KYOAAC, and the other half will go directly to the cities and counties. The KO KYOAAC will award 14 grants for treatment and recovery services across Kentucky in locations such as Lexington, Barberville, Somerset, Louisville, Nicholasville, and more. For a full list of locations being, finan being financially, you can visit Kentucky.gov. And with that, we're going to take another quick break. Don't go anywhere. We've got Dawson Rule. He is in with sports coming up right after this. The City of Richmond Stormwater Management Program works to protect our waterways from pollution and to help citizens with stormwater runoff and flooding. Stormwater is the rain and snow that runs off rooftops, roads, sidewalks, and other surfaces that cannot absorb water, which affects water quality. The City of Richmond Stormwater Management Program is dedicated to helping its citizens understand what stormwater is and its impacts on our watersheds and waterways. For more info, visit buildrichmondky.com and click on the stormwater tab. Granite, marble, and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop's Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cupcadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop's Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see ya. Mercy Health Markham and Wallace Hospital is all about providing for and taking care of their patients. With the technology available today, it's never been easier to keep up with and track your own health, and Markham and Wallace Hospital has set the bar locally in helping you to do just that. Along with the hospital, Mercy Health also has several primary cares across the region in Irvin, Stanton, and Beattyville. Learn more at mercy.com. If you love local sports, you'll love the Jack Burford Chevrolet Sports Show. Join your hosts, Samantha Burford and Michael Watkins, as they break down, recap, and preview sports news in our area. Each Monday night from 6 to 7 on WBON-TV Channel 9 and on Y92.5, V99.3, and CBS Sports Radio 1035. The Jack Burford Chevrolet Sports Show is also brought to you by the Richmond Raceway, Bluegrass Restoration and Construction, the Law Office of Patrick O'Neill, Nuevo Vallarta, and Bishop Small Engine Repair. Looking for some fun? The Galaxy Bowling Center has a league for you. No matter your skill level, you can come out, make some new friends, and have a great time. Call 624-4444 for details. Or if you're more of a trivia person, Champions Grill has you covered every Tuesday starting at 7 with great prizes and all-you-can-eat wings for only $19.99. Why go anywhere else? The Galaxy Bowling Center and Champions Grill. Your ticket to fun just off I-75, exit 87 in Richmond. Welcome back to Live at 5. EKU has some big athletics events coming up this weekend with all the Colonel Sports news and more. Here's Dawson Rule. The Berea game I was planning on attending last night unfortunately got rained out. That means tonight I had time carved out to support a local team playing. Now I was planning on coming to see Madison Central play number one Ballard, who's won 59 straight games in softball dating back to last year. 
With the rain in the area, the field's not looking in game shape, so the game was canceled for the evening. Now with this news, let's go take a look at the team's tough 7-6 loss at Woodford County last night. The game went back and forth and went into eight innings with the Lady Jackets of Woodford coming out on top. Livia Metcalf and Cassidy Hack led the team in hits with three apiece, while Carly Spakeman and Kirsten Osborne had two apiece. Cass Hack had two RBIs, including her fourth home run of the season. The loss spoiled a great hitting evening for the Lady Indians, as they had 15 hits compared to Woodford's 12. The team now plays at Harrison County next on Monday. With the pesky rain and just some scheduling, that was the only score from last night to report on for high school baseball and softball. With that, though, the sports crew is going to be at University Club of Arlington tonight for EKU's Football Suits for Seniors event. We will be live streaming the 6-7 to seven part of the event as the red carpet part will be happening with local players and known figures around the community arriving tonight. Tune in live on the EKU Sports Facebook page and WBON TV. Also on the note of EKU football, the team's spring game is tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Tailgating and food trucks will be available beginning as early as 10 o'clock and noon for the food. Come on out and enjoy some spring football here in Richmond. Tonight also begins a three-game stand for EKU baseball as they host conference rival Lipscomb in a crucial series for the team's record. The Colonels are three games under 500 on the year and sit right at 500 for a conference record. Tonight's opener is set for 6 o'clock. Lipscomb is 21-20 and 20 for the year and will be fighting to keep their ace in first place spot as they're 15-5 in the conference this season. For the all-time series, Lipscomb is 8-3, including being a thorn for EKU's baseball team last year, winning 5 out of 6 games. That's going to wrap it up all in a nice bow for sports this week. Come out to the EKU football spring game tomorrow, remember. And stay tuned for games next week, and know that another athlete profile is coming up very soon. This is Dawson Rule with the best sports coverage in Madison County. WBON TV9 is proud to be your source for local news, local weather, and local sports. At WBON TV9, we pride ourselves on being the local leader when something happens in our area. Channel 9 reaches nearly 900,000 people with our over the air coverage. WBON TV9 is also the number one source you turn to locally for news on Facebook and WBONTV.com. Now you can enjoy all the local news, weather, and sports each weekday afternoon. Join us each weekday from 5 to 5.30 for the Live at 5 newscast. It's streaming on the WBON TV Facebook page, YouTube channel, Roku channel, and our live player on WBONTV.com. And of course, on Richmond's first TV channel, available on Spectrum Channel 712, Urban Community Television, PRTC Cable, and Channel 9.1 over the air. WBON TV, where every local story starts here. At Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry, we value our patient relationships, making it our priority to deliver the gentle, compassionate care that you deserve from a dentist. We offer patients single visit restoration on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with CIRAC. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is equipped to handle all your dental needs, from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. For your next dental appointment and for more details on lip filler and disport specials, call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-985-0. Did I ever tell you about the time I zipped right past that dang Sasquatch? I don't think so. Yes, sir, I don't know how they ever got away if it wasn't for this brand new side by side I got at Gateway Cycles. In Mount Sterling? Yes, sir, they set me up with something that left old Sasquatch sneezing in my dust. <laughs> Jimbo! Lord, I hear him coming back now. That ain't no Sasquatch. That's Mama. Get a great deal on Sasquatch eluders today. Gateway Cycles, Mount Sterling. Since opening in 1972, Citizens Guarantee Bank has been there to help our customers enhance their lives and achieve their dreams. With seven locations across Central and Eastern Kentucky today, we are celebrating 50 years of being there for the communities we call home. Citizens Guarantee Bank is now CG Bank. New name, same commitment to being there for our neighbors. CG Bank, we've been there for that. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender.
At WBON-TV9, you can count on our weather team to keep you up to date with all the latest developments, watches, and warnings. We're here for you night and day, 24-7, no matter what the weather brings. WBON-TV9 and our media partner, 100.7 The Coyote, are dedicated to you. That's why we say when the weather turns extraordinary, so does our coverage. Get your forecast each weekday during the Live at 5 newscast on WBON-TV9 where every local story starts here. Welcome back to Live at Five. It's once again that magical time. It's the weekend. This one is shaping up to be a blast with the Mountain Mushroom Festival, a concert with Ashley McBride, and the BBQ Cook-Off Festival. And to guide you through all the exciting local events, here's WBONTV's Samantha Burford with the Weekender Report. Hello everybody and welcome to this week's edition of the Weekender Report for the weekend of April 28th. This weekend we have some new events and some outdoor events that are back this spring. So let's get this weekend started. Join EKU Football this weekend for their Suits for Senior Social on Friday night at the Mule Barn at the University Club at Arlington. This event will have good food, drinks, a silent auction, a 10K reverse raffle, and your chance to hear from head football coach Walt Wells. You can also watch the red carpet event from 6 to 7 p.m. on the WBON Facebook page. And on Saturday, the annual maroon and white game takes place at 3 p.m. at CG Bank Field. Tailgating begins at 10 a.m. and after the spring game, the team will host a free kids clinic on the field for kindergarten through sixth grade. It's the 31st annual Mountain Mushroom Festival this weekend, April 29th and 30th in Irvine, Kentucky. This festival is a celebration of the morel mushroom and Kentucky agates. There are lots of weekend activities and entertainment for everyone, like the student art show, cooking demonstrations with different varieties of mushrooms, the fungus 5K race, a photo contest, a pageant and baby contest, and lots of live music, a parade, and the first ever Mr. Morel Mullet Contest. For all the details, check out the Mountain Mushroom Festival Facebook page. The EKU Division of Natural Area is having their Spring Nature Exploration Series this Saturday, April 29th at the Taylor Fork Ecological Area. This free family-friendly fun day is Bird Banding Bonanza, which is an important practice in investigating the life history and the migration of birds. Join them from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. as they catch, tag, and release our feathered friends. Also on Saturday, April 29th in downtown Somerset, Kentucky, it's Food Stock, a day of food, music, and art. It's the fourth annual Food Stock Festival. It features food trucks from around the state, spirit and beverage vendors, live art celebration, and lots of fun music and activities for families. The big featured event this year is the Somerset Smoke Show, where you'll be watching grilling enthusiasts in action as they compete for the Somerset's first ever Grill Master title. You'll enjoy demonstration tastings and free tips and classes from professionals all at the downtown Fountain Square. Find out more on their Facebook page. Straight from her Grand Ole Opry induction, Ashley McBride will perform at the EKU Center for the Arts on Sunday, April 30th. McBride is a recent CMA and ACM award winner, and she cut her teeth playing country songs in rural biker bars. Her critically acclaimed duet with Carly Pierce, Never Wanted to Be That Girl, went all the way to number one. Get your tickets now at etix.com for this Sunday with Ashley McBride. The show begins at 7 p.m. Thank you for watching the April 28th edition of the Weekend Report. We hope you found an event you are interested in to enjoy with your family and your community. Make sure to tell your friends to watch the Weekend Report every weekend on WBON TV. And keep sending in those events to our WBON TV Facebook Messenger or our email. Thanks for watching. I'm Samantha Burford. 
Thanks, Samantha, for that Weekender report. Looks like there are lots of great things going on this weekend. Can't wait to get over there to the Mushroom Festival. Love that festival food. Ashley McBride in town also looks like a great weekend for everyone. Get out there and enjoy it and meet me right back here Monday, live at 5.